so today we are looking at Chakra or Chakra, I don't know how you say it, but Chakra Linux, Chakra Project. Basically, it's the live CD uh, project started based on Arch Linux that is designed to bring the best of KDE and free software into a very accessible and usable package that the everyday user can pick up and install. Um, honestly, I've been wanting to do a review of this distribution for a very long time. Uh, I have not had a chance to simply because there has been a bug in the installer that has not allowed me to install uh, to, for me to install this distribution. So I've just had to do it off the live USB. But trust me, if I could install this baby, I would because I am very impressed with what I see. Um, Basically, Chakra Linux uh, all started out with the idea of many other distributions basically wanting to make a nice unified set of packages uh, and building a distribution around them that can really suit the everyday user's needs, but in a way that makes sense to the developers that created it. So if we just go to the Chakra um, webpage here, you can see here it gives a bit of history, goals, and uh, just talks about free software. Really, I'm impressed with the philosophy behind this distribution. It's not trying to be everything to everyone. It states what it wants to be uh, right out of the gate and it doesn't uh, build up any false expectations. It just says what it is and, uh, and really they've done a fantastic job in, in outlining who they are and what they're here to do. Um, so in that respect, I, I definitely give them major props for that. Now, Chakra Linux is famous for its KDE execution. And because, of course, it is based on Arch, we are running the latest KDE, which is, of course, 4.7. So we are running KDE 4.7.0, and, of course, depending on uh, depending on how often you upgrade, you will be uh, running more or less the latest, stop, the latest software. Now, that's where Chakra and Arch Linux di uh, differentiate. It's where this, the Chakra project is becoming more and more independent from the Arch Linux parent, uh, but because of the fact Arch Linux is such a rolling release uh, distribution, it is so bleeding edge, that they tend to tame it back a little bit just to keep that software stable. However, those looking for a usable Arch Linux solution that don't have a lot of experience with uh, with Arch Linux can feel pretty comfortable here in Chakra Linux. So I think it's a, I think it's a good uh, bridge between the two. Um, so yeah, you can see we're running KDE 4.7.0, and KDE 4.7.0 brings a fair few changes on the back end and a few cosmetic ones as well. Dolphin, for example, you can see here they've done away with the file menus up the top here, and we've just got a very uh, Chrome-like. Uh, a wrench here on the side which has all your options. Uh, now I will be throwing in a, a fair few things about KDE 4.7 as KDE 4.7 does have quite a few changes to it which are worth talking about but at the same time I really do want to give props to Chakra Linux as a distribution because it's one that I really admire in both their philosophy and the way they uh, go about creating their distribution. So, um, so first of all just a quick run through of KDE 4.7 here. We got obviously updated applications so Gwenview and Digicam are both far more powerful than what they were before. Uh, Marble apparently has much better performance as well. Uh, we have a couple new features thrown in. Digicam is at 2.0, so that is quite a milestone. Uh, it's been in development for a very long time. Uh, and also there's been some, uh, some, better, uh, some better notifications, and we've also got some better um, desktop semantics, uh, semantics on, the, on the back end that are yeah, bringing KDE into a much more uh, unified ground. Uh, really, and also they've really got some nice features here. If you have a Grub2 uh, bootloader, you can uh, log in, log out uh, into whatever distribution you want uh, via the uh, KDM login manager, which is all pretty sweet. Um, now, all of these features may or may not be available in Chakra Linux. It's just based on what they choose to include in the distribution. But obviously, uh, out of the gate, you can see we, we, we do have basic uh, KDE applications. So nearly all of the applications you see in the menu here is going to be KDE stuff. So just by default, we've got the Conqueror web browser. We've obviously got Quasal IRC for your instant relay chat. Um, and as far as multimedia goes, you don't get a whole lot. You get Bangarang for your uh, media player. And I've installed SM Player there myself. Uh, we obviously have all of the text editors and stuff that you would expect to see. Now, the only weird thing is that I've noticed about the menu here is that before you used to have a bar down the side here that you used to be able to bump back on. Uh, that's been replaced now by this little hierarchy system at the top here. Now, I don't mind it too much, but I think it might be uh, a bit annoying for those who have gotten used to just bumping back over to the left side of that screen. Having said that, it's not really that big a deal and I'm sure people can adjust. Um, now, as far as uh, internet apps are concerned, again, you don't get much. You just get uh, your Bluetooth, your Knet Attach, and uh, and Conqueror. Um, development, you get a few Qt interface designer tools, uh, which is all fun stuff. Of course, that is what Chakra is based around and built off. 
uh, under under graphics we do have Gwen view as I mentioned uh, and we also have GPS information I imagine that's for tagging your photos uh, location wise and interestingly enough we don't have anything under settings so that's comforting uh, but we do have a fair few things here under system uh, such as a backup tool bundle manager which I'm going to talk about in a minute and all the standard KDE stuff along with a live installer if you are running it off the live CD now bundle installer uh, now basically let's talk about the package management really quickly uh, this is, in my opinion, one of the most impressive features of Chakra Linux. They have developed their own package manager from scratch, obviously using the technology that Arch Linux is built around. So they have created a lovely little, uh, a lovely little software center here, package manager, if you will, that they've nicely categorized with big juicy icons down the left here, and you've basically got your list of apps here. And when you, whenever you click on a particular app, it will not only give you the details of that package, but it will take you straight to the home page of that of that uh, particular the program if such a home page exists. So you can see here that uh, I am looking at the uh, two-man DVD uh, DVD creation and it takes me straight to the home page which funnily enough is in French but if we go to a different application like Zero AD which is the uh, cross-platform historical based real-time strategy game it takes us straight to the home page of that so this is a very very nice package manager it's feature rich it's seriously got everything you could ever want or dream of in a package manager and I think that's where Arch Linux really prides itself in creating that package management system that is uh, easy to roll and easy to adapt into whatever distribution you'd like. Um, I mean, this obviously differs from Arch's philosophy in that you only get what you ask for. Uh, so this is a much more mainstream approach to uh, the Linux desktop. Now, let me know in the comments below if you do want me to do a vanilla Arch review as well. I mean, I'm very impressed with everything that the Arch Linux community does, and uh, especially with the AUR and uh, and just the modular and adaptability that Arch Linux is famous for but if uh, but if you want me to review vanilla Arch as it is really only the whatever package the uh, the upstream developers are pushing into Arch that's really all you get on the desktop side of things um, as far as uh, manually installing everything yourself that can be a bit of a hurdle for the everyday user so that's why I haven't really focused on it in the past however if you would like to see me do a review of Arch Linux let me know but this is why I'm looking at Chakra because I believe it's a perfect middle ground for the new user um, now here you have just the available uh, mirrors and repositories that you can enable and then of course once you have enabled these ones it will go out and pull down the packages from the local mirror so you get nice and peppy download speeds uh, I've already tested this one it works fantastically uh, really the speed of this uh, the speed of this package manager is nothing to be complaining about uh, it searches and it searches and finds applications very nicely and very quickly and uh, and everything is a simple right click and install away again it is a semi rolling distribution so you do get a fairly nice uh, set of updated packages on a regular basis and uh, and really this this package manager is something that Chakra Linux should be proud of because it is a very uh, it is a veritable work of art now the second thing I want to talk about is bundle managers as far as package management is concerned. Now bundles, uh, because of the fact that this is a KDE distribution, they don't want to bog it down with too many GTK libraries. They want to keep it swift and they want to keep it fast. Therefore, they bundle the GTK applications that you are probably going to want to use at some stage or another into these little uh, bundles that you can download and run as a single standalone uh, run file, if you will. So all I have to do here is come in here, choose the application I want, such as Chromium, Download and uh, download that application, and it's a simple click and run away from uh, from using that app. So it doesn't really bog down your system with extra libraries that you aren't going to use otherwise. But it just provides you with those GTK applications that most people will uh, either want or need. So it really covers uh, a lot of ground just by providing you with that simple option. Um, now, as far as uh, the, as far as the KDE uh, and Chakra Linux experience goes, I'm very very impressed. Uh, really, I've, I've tried Chakra on, on multiple occasions before to try and review it, but I just haven't gotten very far as the installation keeps hanging. Uh, I'm not going to try it again uh, this time around, but I'm still definitely impressed with what the Chakra project is. The boot speed is very quick, the, uh, the application launch time is very responsive. You really have nothing to complain about as far as uh, the way this system performs on an everyday level.
Really, this system is uh, is much different to anything you've ever run before, as far as the way it, uh, the system just handles handles itself. It's not based off Debian or off Ubuntu or off Fedora, OpenSUSE, etc. It's its own beast, and therefore it runs like a dream because it is based on that minimalist Arch code that uh, that obviously many Linux users uh, are willing to back Arch on. And uh, and honestly, I don't blame them. It is a very elegant way to manage the packages. It is Linux at its core, and it's Linux at its best, in my opinion. Uh, obviously, there's not the most user-friendly thing on the planet, but that's not what it's really designed to be. In the future, I think the way KDE is going and the way that this Chakra project is dealing with its packages, it is doing a fantastic job uh, towards getting those new users. But at this point, uh, it is definitely a distribution worth checking out if you are looking for a different base, if you are looking for a fresh start for your uh, for your Linux desktop. This is a fantastic distribution. They have the they have a fantastic development team behind them. Uh, they have a great philosophy. Um, with their set of custom tools coupled with the uh, the very unified KDE experience they provide as well as uh, they have some fantastic document documentation uh, and obviously you have that Arch Linux background which really brings you unparalleled performance compared to a lot of the boggy, boggier distributions out there. Um, you really should give Chakra Linux a go. I have been recommended to do this one by several people and I'm sorry it's taken this long to get around to doing it. And it definitely ranks up there as one of the best KDE experiences I've had in a very good long time. So thanks again for watching. Uh, feel free to leave any comments or questions you might have below. Clickety clack that like button. And I think I'm going to have to come up with more creative ways to end these videos. Peace out everyone.